Hello everyone, this is Olive Branch and welcome back to Let's Play Populous, The Beginning. In the previous episode we finished off world number 9, Fire in the Mist, and today we're moving on to world number 10, From the Depths. This is another timed level and there is no flyby to it, so I ha I'll explain the challenges I have to complete during the story mode. Alright, so, first things first, our shaman has a terrible vision with scenes of death and destruction as our settlement sank into the sea. We've got to evacuate our tribe before the Matak sink to the sink into the ocean. Anyway, because there is no flyby in this level, I'll explain the three challenges I have to complete right now. The first challenge is Blue Shaman's Burden by the Source. I have to kill or convert all the wildmen in the world. He says to uh, kill and convert about an equal amount of uh, wildmen, so I'll try to do that. The second challenge is Scorched Earth by Gnome 7. After my village is set up, I have to burn every other tree and building on the map to the ground. I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one because the finisher for this level is very special indeed and it may not fit the uh, the bill of burning it down to the ground. The last challenge is Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt by Bombi the Zombie. I have to keep the lightning spell charging at all times. I can never let it, uh, let it reach above one charge, there's four here, and each time I use it, it has to strike a killing blow on a friend or a foe. So I'm pretty sure we're going to zap our, 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 our own followers a couple times before we attack. Anyway, let's begin. First things first, evacuation. I'm going to order my braves to build new boats so we can get out of here. And I'm going to tell my specialized followers to jump onto the boat provided and fight off the, uh, the mat attack over here because there's a totem pole here. Perfect. And I have to keep an eye on when a new boat is built. As you can see there, the uh, the Matak are using constant erode spells to ruin our day. No, no. Okay, there we go. And I think we just lost the brave. Or no, no we didn't. Perfect. Okay. That's it. We can we can we can get get him out of here. Come on, come on. Ah, what the hell, dude? Come on. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And the Matak just completely destroyed our land, but we managed to rescue everybody. Excellent. Anyway, it says here that we can use this totem pole across the water to give us the land we need to replenish our tribe. So I'm going to use a couple of guys who are just sitting here to worship it. Excellent. And as you can see, a timer has begun up here. If we don't finish this mission within eight minutes, all the land that's rising up here is going to sink to the ground, to the ocean once again. So we have to be quick. So first things first, I'm going to send all my people over here. And start unloading them. My braves are going to have to get busy with uh, re reconstruction efforts. While everybody who's just standing here is going to have to uh, basically get these two guys back. So let's start, let's start converting. Alright, sweet. And now to kill some wild men, because she, uh, Saurus said to kill or convert. So dude, goodbye. Why are you guys just standing there? Get on the boat. I have to rescue these two before they kill themselves out of exhaustion. There we go. As for my braves, I have to keep them busy. Hey! Hey! Ah, this land over here just uh, sunk into the earth. Alright. 
I can't actually no, I can't let my uh, I should I forgot, I have to burn all the trees and stuff to the ground. So what's this? Ah, it's telling us the totem pole in the Mathax settlement has the power to grant our revenge. That's what I meant about a special finisher for this level. As soon as we set the totem pole off, something really special is gonna happen. And I'm just making damn sure nobody can use the wood from this level anymore. New Braves got stuck in the huts. Making me mana. Taka! And we've reached one charge of lightning. I'm gonna set it off. I'm gonna do a two for. I'm gonna send my brave right over here. No, no, no. Get back in the. Get back there and get zapped. <laughs> that took care of the brave and the tree. Good. That's it for Braves, we're not going to get any more at this level. Couple more trees to go. I'm gonna turn him into a preacher. <laughs> Only a couple more trees to go. I could send my force over to attack them while my shaman is busy with burning things down. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that right now. As you can see, the Matak have guard towers, but they didn't put anybody inside them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a wi uh, stay away from these fire warriors and do an eastern landing over here. I'm going to send my warriors in first to draw the fire. And then my preacher is following to give some backup to convert these guys before they give any trouble. In the meantime, my shaman has gotten another charge of lightning. Hey dude, guess what? You're sacrificed. And that's it for Scorched Earth. I burned down every tree on the ground. In the meantime, my followers are doing very nicely. I'm gonna have to kill this preacher before he causes trouble. And that's gonna be a bad idea because my preacher just got busy with converting some braves. And he's got inside this hut, I don't know why, but... Alright, I have two minutes to complete this level, and they're sending everybody they have over here. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to send this guy, or not, because these warriors are quickly decimating them. I'm gonna send two of my warriors to worship this totem pole to exact their revenge. Back at home, looks like we have another lightning lightning blast to sacrifice our follower to. Hey, 
Congratulations! Shoka. <laughs> All right. After worshiping that totem pole, what happens? The Matak settlement sinks to the ground. Karma redefined. There's only one of their guys left. So, let's finish this off nicely. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna send one of these guys over here to pick up my shaman, and I'm gonna lightning bolt the hell out of him. There we go, there's a light. What the hell? Alright, here we go. Finish this off in style. The reason they're getting dizzy, the reason they're getting weak is because they're stuck like this. Remember, stuck followers eventually die over time in order to get them out of their, their funk, so to speak. And, oh dear, they started the party without me. Ah, oh, what a shame. Now I'm gonna have to lightning somebody. I can't. Damn. Oh well. The Mathak are destroyed. We burned off every tree in the ground. The only thing that are left are little saplings that regrow, and I couldn't do anything about them. But, that's it for this level. Let's look at the status. We took about 10 minutes to complete this level. We lost only one fight and we won all the rest. We decimated the enemy followers and we lost a few of our own because of all the fighting going on. There were no Vaults of Knowledge to be raided in this level. This was a purely action-based level. And I think we met our challenges pretty nicely. We managed to convert or kill all the mild men in the world. We burned down every tree at the time that we could. And with the exception of that last follower who managed, the last Matak follower who managed to climb up and get into a fight with, our, with all our warriors and get him his throat cut before we could launch a lightning on him, we managed to lightning bolt our own shamans, our own, I'm mean, sorry, our own followers whenever we had the chance to. So, this has been From the Depths. I'm Olive Branch, and I'll catch you next time. See you later.